Hi, welcome to my system here, Arch Labs 5.0. We're going to make a uh, tutorial about the Sardi and the possibility about the Sardi icons to mix. So a lot of um, tutorials have been made already about the flexibility that you can change the icons via a script. And the script is uh, normally in folders like Colora or Flexible, it's in the name that you know that there are scripts and sites and you can download all these icon themes but now we're gonna explain to you that Sardi can also be modular meaning for instance uh, let's go down here we have here Sardi mono vertex for instance let's move it out of the way this is the Sardi vertex yeah but some of you don't like these mono icons and you really want to have these folders together with, for instance, this one. So the Sardi icon theme. So I want this, but I want not these folders, I want other folders. And that's where the modularity comes in. Meaning you can attach one folder to another folder. And it happens with a small line in your index theme called inherits. It's all explained on ericdubois.pe. If you don't want to into the detail of how to make themes and icons and all that, then I suggest you just download it. And we're gonna first show you how you do that in Arch Labs or Arch Linux in general. And then we're gonna show it how it will work on any distro. The Arch Labs will do Packer, Sardi, and Mixing. So this is my name to tell you guys if it's mixing, it means that we are mixing elements from one Sardi icon with another. Okay? And actually, we want to show you this one, number one, Sardi mixing icons. There you go. It's installed. We have to look at how it looks now. Open it up again, so it's uh, loaded, It's you can find it. Let's make this one a little bit bigger. I have to go, I have to do it like this. Why? Because there are so many themes inside, I really don't know all of them. So what I do is the following, I'm gonna maneuver it out of the way, so we still see the icons here. I'm gonna do this. And we're actually talking about the Sardi mixing. Okay, click. So anyway, uh, if you're not on Arch Linux, you can just download here. We'll, we'll do that together. Um, but we're going to follow the things we've now installed. This is Sardi Evopop. So if you like the Evopop icons, well, fine. Now you can combine them with the Sardi icons. That's why it's called Sardi Colorful Evopop folders. Next up is Sardi Love, 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 the golden one. Now, this is Sardi Love Golden, Sardi and Love Golden. Sardi Love Niagara, same principle. Sardi Love Red, same principle. And the Sardi Love, the standard one, the blue one. So we've done those four. Now, Mintix Gray is Sardi this one. So these are the icons from Linux Mint and combined with the Sardi icons. That's that one. Umix is normally combined with Mono, so this look. If you don't like this Mono look, then now you can have this Sardi Numix look. So combination with Sardi and the Numix folders. Sardi Papyrus is the next one, which is the standard Papyrus look, but then with the Sardi colors rather than the Mono. Sardi Polo is the next one, that's this one. And last but not least, Sardi Vertex. So we have now these Vertex folders together with the Sardi icons. That's what I mean with modularity. You just hook it up like a locomotive, like a train, and hook it on to the Sardi icons applications then, this one, the bar, and you hook up things from the folders. You want this folder, that folder combined with that. That's the power of um, Sardi. So, if you want to experiment with that, you can find all the tutorials on ericdupois.be. 
But now for everybody else who doesn't have Arch Labs or Arch Linux, what you need to do is you go to the GitHub of Eric Dubois, Sardi Mixing, you download it, download the zip, show in folder, and let's get rid of previous downloads, voila, and then extract here, don't need this anymore, let's make this bigger, don't need these, that's just for maintenance of GitHub, we're gonna copy or cut whatever you want, and then you need to find your dot icon, so in, it's a hidden folder in the home directory. Copy paste everything in there, and now you can select it with your team manager, and you can enjoy the new combinations that we've made. Enjoy!